So after having successfully confused the crap out of our Uber driver yesterday by having him drive us an hour and a half out of downtown Denver and dropping us off in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> we started our section height of the Colorado Trail. We were all pretty wore out from the long day of travel, so we kicked it in about three miles or so, set up camp on this really awesome little hill, went to bed fairly early, woke up and weren't in any hurry to get out. Coming up on our first water source of the trail. Always nice to hear water running. Yeah, it's a gulch. So we're sitting at about maybe 10,500 feet. It's about 5,000 feet higher than I've ever hiked in my life. It's not, uh, the elevation's not making me sick, but it sure is kicking my butt. My, my lungs aren't burning, but they don't seem to be working quite as well as they should be. And my heart's trying to jump out of my chest. But, that is so worth it. Didn't get a chance to film much yesterday. Being up here at this altitude is really tough on the lungs for me. And it seems to be pretty much the same for the rest of us that live near sea level. So uh, I got a lot of good footage, didn't get a lot of good talking points. So last night we stayed at a really awesome camp spot near a little river. It started raining and hailing probably about half the night. Seems like all of us stayed dry though. It's pretty awesome. We're uh, working our way up a two mile, 800 foot climb this morning right out of the gate. And from what we hear from a hiker that came down from there last night, he said once we get to the top, it is just smooth sailing and absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to get up there and see what it looks like. But for now, this is where I'm standing. <laughs> Anyone else look at that and see one amazingly beautiful potential for a bowl? <laughs> That is a nice boulder. We just climbed 783 feet in 1.8 miles in just under an hour and a half. We are now sitting at 10,914 feet and I could not be any happier with having just done that. <laughs> After taking a break at the top of that climb this morning, we set off into this valley, which we are still in right now, which is absolutely incredible. We're just lock, walking along the tree line of this valley. We put in four and a half miles without even thinking about it. It's just so smooth and nice terrain. Uh, one fun thing that did happen though, we're just cruising along, minding our own business, and all of a sudden start getting pelted by hail. <laughs> One kid said, described it as dipping dots. So it kind of looked like the size of dipping dots, if you know what those are. <coughs> uh, 
but it just came down and it came down hard and heavy. The uh, trail started to look like Christmas in June. <laughs> White trail in June. And we caught back up with the other guys. They were sitting down eating lunch, so we sat and took a break as well. We got back up and got back at it. Had about a mile and a half of this really smooth terrain left. And then we're going to do another 500 foot climb over the course of two miles. So a little better than this morning. But then after that, we get to go down 2,000 feet straight down. <laughs> so that's going to be really interesting. Uh, they have switchbacks out here, but they are really awesome switchbacks. They're like, you make one turn and then go a really long way, and then you make another turn and go a really long way. It's not those really quick succession switchbacks that I'm used to. for tonight. That is a TP. <laughs> Set up camp just in time. Good morning on day three. So woke up decently refreshed this morning. I think everybody was ready to get up and get moving. It, uh, looking to do two 14 mile days to get us to the beginning of segment two. So today is the first of those 14. Yesterday afternoon was <laughs> interesting to say the least. We had another 500 foot climb and it decided to hail and rain on us for about two hours the entire way up that climb. So I think we were all pretty ready to get to camp yesterday. Bounced around until we found a good one, and it definitely was a good one. Had a lot of good flat places to camp. Had two or three big fire rings and a teepee. <laughs> First thing this morning, I had to stop and refill up all my water. and We're on our way. Lucky it appears that almost the entirety of the 28 miles that we're about to do is downhill with just a few random uphills so it pr should be a pretty pretty smooth trip for the next couple days i'm looking forward to it i'm very impressed with this trail and how much the terrain and landscape changes oh one minute you're walking along the side of a cliff looking at snow-capped mountains the next you're walking through this forest of massive aspen trees i think the aspen trees at the beginning of the trail were all very small, very small, very small in diameter and height. But now we're out here in these giant, giant aspens, and we're only 20 miles from the other ones. So it doesn't take much. It's almost like every time you turn a corner, it's a different trail. But the whole trail has been incredibly smooth and super easy to walk. I really like this trail. I'll be bringing my son back here specifically to hike segment four. I think he would really, really enjoy the uh, difference between getting to climb the mountains, but then getting a long stretch of a really long meadow, which was absolutely gorgeous. I'll definitely be bringing him back here. And then right after that, it's just this soft transition right back into the big pines. It's amazing. Breathing is becoming a bit easier. I'm starting to learn that the hard part is figuring out a stride of breath to step. It's like you have to breathe deeper than you normally would, and I have to slow my step a lot more than I would, especially in Texas. So finding that even stride between the breath and step is definitely difficult. But you can tell your body starts to do it on its own. The more you pay attention to it, the harder it is. If you just let your body do its thing, it does very well. It's hard to remember to just let your body do what it does.
I gotta say, this is about the last thing I ever expected to see out here. That is a big, beautiful new home. <laughs> That's nuts. So, today was a doozy. We had intended on hiking 13 miles, and then we intended on hiking 14 miles. And then it just kept going and going. <sighs> and we ended up at 16.3 miles for the day, I think. So the way today kind of fell was Todd and Mike ended up pretty well out front. I was pretty well in the middle, and Chris and Lori were behind me. Well, at some point while I was off in La La Land taking videos of this massive, massive rock wall, I passed Todd and Mike while they were at some super awesome cave that I didn't get to see because I passed them looking the other way. I ended up walking up probably a little over a mile before I realized something was wrong because I was at the point where we were all supposed to meet. So I just sat there and I sent Chris a message a text message just hoping he might eventually get service and realize that I'm up ahead and he did and luckily we did all meet back up and set up camp here uh, probably half a mile short of segment three's trailhead so tomorrow we've got about 12 more miles to get to the segment two trailhead where we'll be picked up and we'll go to the house that Chris rented get all cleaned up and get ready for the OR show tomorrow or not tomorrow, the OR show the next day. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. But for now, here's where I'm standing. It's hard to tell, but back there behind those trees, way behind those trees is a big snow-capped mountain. <laughs> it was a pretty crazy day. Lots of rain, lots of miles, but we're all fed tired, camp set, and we'll be ready for a new day tomorrow. Speaking of camp, my tent, Mike's tent, which is a to be released at a later date tent, Todd's new tarp, and Chris and Lori's triplex. I know, sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> so it's about time for bed. We'll wake up and do it all over again tomorrow. Bingo, we have a winner! <laughs> whoop, whoop. Top of the last 300 foot climb. Now it's three miles straight down to the end. Check it out. Soy el pecado que amas con el chica y si tú quisieras una sola vez conmigo hay que ser claro lo que quieres perder ya pasó tu primavera y el amor que se fue pero las ganas de darle aumentan cada perdido sé lo que siento pero tú no Yeah.
Yeah.